Hi, this is Lay with Crash Test Hobby showing you how to modify your motor so that it will fit on a motor mount on a push prop airplane. On this particular motor, the shaft is on the right side and the wires are up against the mount, but in this one, the shaft is trying to poke back through the motor mount and you can't put your prop on it. So I'm going to show you how to move the shaft through. First, I'm going to remove the retainer set screw and the E-clip. These E-clips can be hard to get off. I destroy them most of the time when I remove them. Now I'm going to push the shaft back through. There are several ways to do this. I can use my drill press. Put the, I tighten the chuck up, bring the motor up, and very gently just push the shaft down through the motor. I want to leave enough out that I can put a wheel collar on the other side to hold it in place, but that's the goal. Now here's the part where the prop's going to be on the right, and on the left I'm going to just put a wheel collar, which I'm going to lock tight and tighten in place. Then on the other side I'll put a prop adapter. Now I'm going to show you how to use a vise to do the same thing. In this case I'm putting the wheel collar in place first, doesn't matter when you do it, and I'm using a socket in order to give the shaft a place to go as I tighten it in the vise. This particular motor was very tight and it took a little bit of pressure to push it through, but make sure you don't push the shaft too far or the motor will get tightened up so much it won't turn. One of the other motors I was playing with, the shaft was so loose through the bearings I could just push it back and forth. I'll show you how to deal with that later. Now after you've got the shaft in position, put some thread lock on the set screw and put it back in place. Make sure you get it plenty tight. You don't want the bell coming off your motor. Then I put a prop adapter on. On pusher props, a motor this big can easily use a prop adapter. But when you get uh, polar props, the uh, can pull the prop adapter right off the motor. Now you'll find that the screw configuration on the back of the motor will fit a certain way on the mount. I like to have the wires poking up, and I like to use three millimeter by six millimeter bolts to screw the motor in place. Just loosely put all the four bolts in place before you tighten them so that you can make sure that the motor is positioned where you want it. And make sure you don't use longer bolts. Longer bolts will go into the windings of the motor and can actually damage the motor to where it won't work anymore. Make sure the motor turns freely and make sure that the set screw on the wheel collar doesn't rub on the mount. Now this motor has a 5mm shaft, and I've never found 5mm prop adapters. They give you this big ugly shaft adapter that uh, likes to unscrew with pusher props. So what I like to do is take a 4mm uh, prop adapter and drill it out to 5. Make sure also on this particular motor that your wires do not hit the screws. These wires are very close to the uh, threaded holes on the back of the motor and it's easy to damage the wires. So I take a 4 millimeter uh, prop adapter and drill it out to a 5. Now this is the motor that had the loose shaft. What I did to hold it in place is I put the wheel collar on, then I put the set screw in place, and then uh, the prop saver or prop adapter uh, will help hold the shaft in place. So this motor is still very usable even though the shaft was loose from the factory. Thank you for watching. Be careful not to damage your bearings in this process, and happy flying. This is Lee from Crash Test Hobbies. Thanks for watching.